Hi, we're back. So, in the last video then, we learned to control our robot so we could drive it forwards and turn it left and turn it right. Now, the thing was, when you was trying to make it go forwards, you had to try and work out how far forward to go. And if you was a human being, you'd probably do something a little bit different. So let's just zoom in and let's just see. So if we were human, we would go forwards and we would keep going forwards and there's a wall ahead there's a wall ahead there's a wall ahead and as we get close to the wall we would just stop so we would use our eyes to determine how far from the wall we were and when we get to a certain distance we would just stop so we don't bump into it and then we would turn in the direction we need to go okay so we have an ultrasonic sensor let's just zoom in so that you can actually see it there we go so this thing here is an ultrasonic sensor it sends out a beam hits the wall comes back and that time it takes to do that it is measured and that tells us how far away from the wall it is so what we're going to do is we're going to program this sensor so that when it gets within say 15 centimeters of the wall the robot stops let's just reset now the ultrasonic sensor is on port 2 input 2 let's go back to our blocks um, and what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a function and we will call this move straight and what we want our function to do is keep moving straight while the ultrasonic distance that's reported is greater than 15 centimeters okay so we want it to move forward so we're going to need that and we want it to keep doing this while something is true okay and that true is going to be our sensor ultrasonic sensor and it is on port 2 or at the front want to wait until the ultrasonic sensor or at least we want to do it while the the gap is bigger than 15 centimeters so it's going to put 15 in there there we go and at the end of that when it is 15 centimeters or probably slightly less we want to stop So we're going to be calling that function. So instead of having this and having to guess how many rotations until we get it exactly right, we're just going to wait until we get within 15 centimeters of the wall instead. So let's take that off, get rid of that one, and under our functions, we are going to tell it to move straight, and when it gets to the end, we want it to turn right. Let's have a look, see if that works. Just zoom out a little bit so we can see. So it's got to the end and it's turned right. So now the great thing is I don't have to worry about how far away it is from the next wall. And I do know I want to turn right and then we're going to want to move straight. And then this time we actually want to turn left. Now I don't have a left turn so I'm going to make myself a left turn. A few things that I need to change. Hopefully you did this. If not, here's your solution, minus 90, because remember when we're turning left, the gyroscope is going to go negative straight away, and to make it turn left, we need to swap the rotation of the wheels. And I'm just going to rename that, turn left. There you go, and under functions, I can just tell it to turn left. Let's just have a look, see how that does. Brilliant. Now, I want you to have a go at that. We'll leave the blocks on there so that you can see the move straight code. So you can copy it if you want to. If you want to as well, you could change this to millimeters and then change that to 150. It's entirely up to you. 
Okay. Once you've done that, come back and I will show you how to make the robot so it can decide for itself if it wants to go left or right, so we don't have to keep writing all of this code like this. Okay, pause the video now and then come back when you're ready. Okay, great stuff. So hopefully you've got that quite a way through the maze. Okay. Our aim is to try and get to one of the coloured blocks. Um, I'm going to aim for the pink one on this occasion, just because I know the value or the colour of the pink is actually number five. I don't know what the blue and the red is. Okay, but I do know that the pink is number five. So let's have a think. What actually happens if we go from where we are right now and I go forwards? Okay, well, let's try and go forwards as best I can with the joystick. Okay, when I get to the end, I need to make a decision. Do I turn left or do I turn right? Now, as humans looking down on this maze, we can see very clearly that we would want to turn to the right. But what is it that tells us we want to go to the right? It's the amount of space to the right, isn't it? Okay, so there's more space to the right. Now, our robot doesn't currently have enough sensors to do this, so we're going to swap our robot. Select robot, and we're going to go for the maze runner. So the maze run alert has two additional ultrasonic sensors. So it can fire them out to the left and to the right, and then it can figure out how close it is to the walls, and then probably make a decision on which way it's going to go. So here's our sensors. Something to bear in mind, the gyro has switched to port 5. So we're going to need to change that in our code. Okay, But the front sensor, or the front ultrasonic sensor, is still on port 2, left is 3, right is four. So I'm just going to click OK. And the first thing I'm going to do is just go up here and where I've got a three, I need to change to a five. I need to do that on both the left and the right. There we go. And let's just go back to our simulator. All right, so this is the one that's facing forward. So if you think about this from the robot's point of view right now, it is a long way to this wall, which is why this number is quite big, 129 centimeters. Okay. To the left is 12.7 and to the right 11.8. They're more or less the same, and you can see it's more or less in the middle. So when it gets to the end here, okay, let's just drive it forwards. It's gonna go a little bit, there we go. Oh, trying to drive it straight. Let's say our robot's got to there and it's stopped there. Oh. Okay, so 12.9 is not close enough. But if we look to the left, which is this ultrasonic sensor, so that's this sensor here, it's saying it's only 15 centimeters to the wall, but if we look to the right, it's saying it's almost 50, which suggests we really ought to be turning right. So what we want to say is, if input three or the sensor on port three is greater than the sensor on port four, then turn left, else turn right. So let's program that. I'm just going to move these out of the way, so give ourselves a little bit of space. So what we're going to do is we need to say if, and I'm going to use this one because I'm going to do a comparison, and I need an else block dragging in there as well, because I need to do one of two things. Okay, let's just get rid of that off there for the second. So, if our ultrasonic sensor on port three, let's just check. Okay, so port three is the left sensor. If that on port three is greater than the sensor on port four in centimeters, then we want to turn left. So I'm going to steal that there. And if it isn't, we want to turn right. And we want to do that there. And get rid of those blocks. Let's move that out of the way so you can see clearly what's going on. Let's go to our simulator. Reset. And let's see. So it should turn right when it gets to the end. Excellent, it works. So then we're going to need to do that again. 
Okay, so when he goes, drives forward to the next wall, it'll then decide to turn left or right. It needs to keep doing that again, and again, and again, and again. So we could just keep duplicating these blocks, or we could use a loop. And we could repeat a fixed number of times, but we don't really know easily how many times it should actually have to do this. Um, but we could use a condition. Okay. So what we could do is we could say repeat until until it's on the pink square. So the there is a color sensor on the front of this and the color for pink happens to be number 5. So if we say color and we tell it color here and it's on port 1 and if we say repeat until that color is equal to 5. There are other ways to do this, but I'm going to go with this. So I want to repeat all of this until the color sensor tells me it's over 5. Reset play the robot made it to the end okay let's flick back to the code Position it all so that you can see everything on the screen. Push that one out. And there you go. That's the code for the Maze Runner. See if you can work out how to make it to the other colour blocks.